My name is Antonio Roccobato. I am 20 years of age, and I currently live in Haverhill, Massachusetts. I mean, I've always been searching for, for guidance. I've always been searching for kind of a direction in life. I grew up without a father, and I didn't really have a, a man to guide me in life. It was always my mom trying her best, working way too hard. And uh, she, she, she tried her best, and she raised me phenomenally. But I've always missed something, guidance. And when I searched and I, I found the Lord and over my lifetime, it's been easier to follow direction through his guidance, through his teachings and following that path that he laid in front of me. And one of the main things was uh, after my mother had her kidney transplant, she speaks a lot about how after that, the, the world looked a lot greener. And it, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's almost losing a loved one where my eyes really opened up more to, wow, this is, there is, there really is someone looking down. There is angels, there is a Lord, and his teachings are vivid, and his, his lessons are, are very visual, but it really, it really opened my eyes up after, after that. So I'll, I'll put it to you like this. I have a roller coaster. And I've realized when I follow um, the Lord's path, my life is very clear in the way of guidance and where he wants me to go. And I follow that path. But like a roller coaster, there's ups and there's downs. And sometimes I fall into sinful ways and I realize it's like puzzle pieces. And those puzzle pieces are just disappearing. And it's not complete. But on my way back up, the Lord is always there. He's always ready. He's always in the back seat. He's always there, hand open, heart open, and it's always a great time. And I've been following the Lord oh, very deeply, and I've never been this happy before. Never, never before. This is beautiful. It's like a flower blossoming. That slow transition of a flower opening is that slow transition of my heart opening, wider and open, and, and that beautiful feeling, that warmthness especially stepping into the church, outside of the church, you can really just feel God working his, his magic, God working his fingers and saying, you know what, I got you. We're going to do this together. Oh, it really makes everything so much more clear. And the Bible that was given to me, oh, it really breaks down scriptures and it really takes that extra thought out of my head when I just sit down and I read it all the, all the scriptures, all the verses, and I'm like, wow, this is really phenomenal. And when I step into church, pastor, your words are as clear as day. Today I declare to the church and to the whole world that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Amen.